So now we're going to work. Um, again, ideally, I get this under hook when his arms stuck on the outside of my neck. For people that know what they're doing, they keep their hands inside. Okay, he'll put, probably have both, both hands inside his best. Now, as long as I'm under his elbow, I still have really good control. So we're going to work in a couple different positions. The first one is I'm under his elbow, but he gets his hand inside. Now he can use his hand on my throat here and push to make space. Right? So what I want to do is I'm going to keep my arm tucked under here. I'm going to sit through hip to hip. I'm going to use my free hand. It's going to come out from under. I'm going to take his wrist and just pin it to his chest. And I'm going to cover his wrist with my chest. Right? I'm going to go back under. I'm going to pull him up and put my hand right under his body. All right? So you're going to make the guy into like a sandwich here. You're going to basically like smother the life out of him with this. So then I put all his weight back onto my hand. And I take my knees off the mat. And I'm just going to sink into him. So you will get people to tap with this, but mostly you just want to sort of like drain their, basically drain their battery with this. It makes it very hard for him to breathe. And what I want to do when I'm in this position is I feel it start to breathe. Every time he breathes out, I sink my weight in a little bit more. So you just go, you don't, you're not in a rush to squeeze the guy to death. You're basically just sinking into him. And you'll hear him when you get here, he'll be like kind of breathing. Every time he exhales, you exhale. And you sink down a little bit. And you wait, he exhales again, and you sink in a little bit. You just hold him like this. Right? He will, a lot of times what happens here is he starts to struggle and he might pop his hand out, but when you do that, you drain a lot of his energy. All right? So we're going to start from here. All right? He gets his hand inside. I want to make sure that my elbow stays under his elbow. I cup his shoulder and I need to put my weight on him right now. So I go hip to hip. I take my hand out from under his neck and I just grab his hand and I just stuff it in between my chest. I rock my chest away. Put it to his chest and then put my width, my chest over it. And then I lift him up. I want my hand to be lined up directly with his hand underneath. And now the meaty part of my palm is digging into his back, and I take my weight off the mat and I just wait. Right? And try to have your partner breathe heavily. Every time they exhale, just sink your weight in. And you'll feel they won't be able to get as much in the second one, and eventually they'll run out. Alright? Just one more time. From here. His hand is inside and on your neck. Make sure, it, it, do not do this. If you if he has the inside elbow position like this, you don't want to do it. You have to be under his elbow for this to work. Okay. Catch the shoulder, lift his body up, and then just sink your weight on him. You might even hear his back a little bit. And then listen to their breath and sink your weight in as, as they breathe. Okay. One, two, three.